Hello, hello. Welcome to Leap Taken. This is Mika here at Leap Taken. I talk about all things witchy, craft-related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And today, I want to share a little bit about my own self-discovery on my recent vacation. I've talked about it. I did a live recently. Hopefully, you saw that. Um, one of my planning videos, but um, I really wanted to sort of just take time to highlight uh, and really focus um, one for myself and I just wanted to share what I really learned when I was away in Jamaica so I recently went into an, went to an all-inclusive resort in Jamaica if you didn't know um, it was really nice it was it was pleasant um, with anything you know there was something to complain about because there's always <laughs> something that you you know you can say oh well I wish it went this way you know the COVID situation at the airport uh, nothing that really kind of stood out in a very negative way. Uh, there was a lot of positives, so. though. And the three things that I'd like to focus on are uh, rest, power, and trusting my intuition. Uh, this is These are not new concepts to me. I understand them, but sometimes I think we all need that refresher. So I need to rest. Um, I am not... A workhorse. I don't aim to be a workhorse. I like organization. I like having um, things, especially in my home, a certain way. I know that to be true. Um, but I do not dream of labor. <laughs> I do not dream of labor. Um, so the best way sometimes for me to explain is, and I'm looking down at my notes here, is to just kind of tell a little story. Um, once upon a time. I used to, like when I was much younger, I had a friend, we both worked at this fast food place. And I noticed that she seemed to be a little bit more, I don't know, enthused, enthusiastic about working, at least it seemed. I, on the other hand, hate it. I, I like the idea of getting a paycheck. I wanted money, but I did not enjoy the actual physical labor. And it wasn't even, I thought at the time, oh, it was just working at a fast food place. That's what I hate. I'm like 15 and uh, <laughs> I just realized that she was much better, it seemed like, at um, wanting to work. Like even she showed up when she was supposed to, like she just had a better mindset from from what I thought about work. And I was a little low key, like envy, envious about that. I wanted to be like that too. Um, fast forward in my 20s, Similar things, I would notice people seem to like really care about their job. And it was, it just seemed weird to me because I just could give not that much energy. I just did not care that much. I showed up, I wasn't like a horrible employee, but like I was not invested. I was like, it's not my company. Um, I, I wasn't one of those people who felt like, oh, but you just for the sake of doing a good job, you should, you know, be good or something. I never felt like that anyway. Um, and I thought I really was just an odd duck uh, because I just never thought it was that awesome to give 100% of all, basically all of you and in, invested into this work. Um, I really, like, I thought something was wrong with me. And that also kind of altered how I saw myself in the future and plans and like, it, it kind of messed with that a little bit. Um, and what I did realize is that well, at least for me, you know, you're you. <laughs> it isn't natural to be hyper-focused on productivity. Um, it's not natural for me to give up 100% to a job. Um, it's just not natural for me. So there was never anything wrong with me. Um, I don't have a problem. I, you know, I'm not lazy. I used to think that. Um, I'm not lazy at all. I just, that wasn't something that I wanted to give my all to. So I didn't. And it was, you know, it was trying to force something that, wasn't natural in me. So I would realize years later that, you know, having this go, go, go attitude, because in those type of environments, you know, you, they want you to work, just keep going, going during that shift that you're working. And that's just not natural for me. And even now, I force breaks. Uh, I, 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 well, I take breaks. I don't care what anybody else is doing, but I am going to take a break. Even if you say take a break, I'm going to take probably a couple more minutes than that because I'm just one of those people I realize I need that rest. It's not natural for me to just be going, you know, all the time working on one thing. Like I have got to stop. And um, 
more importantly, in between, I need longer, like, rest. Um, that's when I'm my best. So, yeah, I need rest. That's what I discovered. And then power. I am a powerful witch. Again, I didn't, I knew this. I, it's not, I don't even want to say I didn't need to be reminded. It's always nice to be reminded. But I conjured away uh, before I completely even understood how or what was possible that I would need this time for rest, for a break. And I conjured it because I'm not going to sit here and give all of my business away, but just know if you were aware of my business, you would know, hmm, that's how, how, how did she, don't worry about all that. It, it happened. <laughs> everything lined up uh, so that I was able to go and everything just went smooth. Like I had an extended vacation because I went out of the country and I also went uh, to another state and visit a family. So I had like, it was several trips in one. So like, it was kind of a big deal, um, that I was able to do that. Uh, so I felt really positive about that. Um, and, um, another story time to kind of tie that in together. Uh, I manifest, or let me put it to you like this before moving here. And I talked about this in other videos here. I live in Arizona. I was living in Florida in South Florida and I had a dream um, about living here. I had an imagery came into my mind's eye in that dream. And I saw mountains and palm trees and the environment looked totally different from Florida. And I knew, and I knew in that moment, Oh wait, things are different. And then, um, even some of like, I could tell we were moving in my family and I, but there was like a, one of my kids missing. It switched around how it all goes, but like, it just, it felt like everything would be different and everything is very different. I'll just put it to you like that. Once moving here, it's very different from my life in Florida. And um, I had to believe in that, you know, I had to believe that that was real and that was, you know, something I was accepting and I wanted it in my path and belief, you know, and just the power of belief and knowing to trust that what I was seeing was real for me and my future. And here I sit, like <laughs> I drive around and I see palm trees and mountains. It's so amazing. I And it doesn't, I never lose that. Um, sometimes, you know, I'm just running to CVS or running to Walmart or something like that. And I'm like, whoa, like I'll just be trying like, dang, I'll look over in the horizon and see mountains and the street is, you know, lined with some palm trees. And it just kind of takes me aback that Wait, I saw this and here I am living it, you know, just in my everyday. Um, and I built on that um, spells work, guys. Um, you know, trust your timing um, and the universe. <laughs> Sometimes it needs a little work line, aligning the, your timing and the universe's timing. Sometimes that's where I think we kind of get, I don't know, <laughs> it gets a little confusing for some of us. Um, I want to talk about that more in videos, timing. Because uh, I think that's what gets a lot of people tripped up on spell work and rituals and things like that. It's like, well, I did all this and it still didn't happen. What? What's wrong? That's a whole other topic. But yeah, I, the fact that I, you know, was able to conjure and see it through and, and like multiple things, that trip reminded me of that even more so. And I, I felt like even more powerful. And then finally, trusting my intuition paid off. Um, years ago, many years ago, I started this journey on myself um, by trusting my intuition. I heard a literal voice, literal, uh, in my head, like a thought form was just propped in and it basically told me that, hey, you know, and didn't say hey, but it was like, you know, you're gonna, you know, your situation is gonna be different. You're gonna be here and you'll be here by yourself. You don't, you know, and everything that that voice said a year later happened. Um, and I also learned that I could make good decisions for myself. Um, there was a time, um, there was a time I really struggled with that, you know, where I really thought, um, I had a problem making decisions that I, I used to call myself indecisive when I was like in my early twenties. I really thought that, uh, but I really wasn't, I was a young woman learning the world. I mean, <laughs> decisive. I mean, I was trying to figure out my way. So it, I was working with the, what I knew. So that, you know. But I believe that for longer than I should have. Um, but that got in the way of me learning to really trust my intuition. So this trip reminded me to trust my intuition. Um, and part of that is um, 
when signs and symbols and things like that, when you get a gut feeling about something good or bad to believe in it. And it made sense. My gut told me, you know, going to Jamaica was the right thing. So I wanted to go to Mexico, uh, but Mexico right now wouldn't have been best. So yeah. And, uh, relatively everything went relatively smooth i mean pretty much smooth um this is a precarious time to be traveling right now because even though depending on a, like i'm in a wild wild west here in arizona you know there's no mask situation like it's just whatever covid who um but in other countries they still you know it's not like that so you have to be very careful i've been tested twice now uh once to go once to come back and um yeah it would have gotten really tricky if i came up you know that test came up hot so jamaica uh the resort i was at they were more accommodating if that were to occur so that's why i chose there and um you know just taking actual monday knowledge and trusting what felt right i'm glad i was able to do that because i was able to have a really good time and finally i just want to say with everything. Uh, gratitude is key. Um, I know I deserve all the things um, that I desire and I'm trust that I'm capable of conjuring all that I desire and I'm always grateful in advance. And that's kind of my message, final message. I am grateful in advance. I am filled with gratitude even now of just having the experience and knowing what's possible and what's to come. And whatever I decide, whatever I want to do, I know if I truly desire it, it will come to me. Um, I will have that experience. So yeah, I just wanted to share those things with you. So thanks again for watching. I'm Mika. This is Leap Taken. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And as always, if you're interested in joining Leap Taken as a member, please go ahead and click on that join button. I have a short video. It shows um, the breakdown of the two different levels, but this is a great time to join because we're going to have a book club um, meeting and we're going to be discussing a really cool book. And I've opened it up just this month to both Hedgers and uh, Leapers. Those are the two levels. So go ahead and click join. So it's a great time if you were curious to check it out. And if there are any services that you were curious about, go ahead over to leaptaken.com. I offer different services, readings. I have a monthly uh, uh, full moon, new moon subscription as well. You might enjoy that. Um, I also offer mentorship programs. So right now, and I think I just have level two available. Those slots are open. Uh, it's worth it, especially if you've been practicing for some time. And it's not so much that you need somebody to hold your hand from the beginning. You want to deepen that craft experience or witchcraft experience or um, you know, you just, you, you'd like a little bit more guidance to build a tradition uh, for yourself so that you actually stick with it this time. Yeah, go ahead and click over there and um, go over to leaptaken.com and check out that as well. All right. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and I'm out of here. Bye-bye.